Hi everyone! Welcome to the channel Curious Kid. I'm Lina and this is my little scientist Alice. Hi! Today we are going to speak about light and we will make easy and interesting experiments with light source, lenses and different surfaces. I can't wait! <laughs> Great! So, what is light? In order to see, we need light. Yes. Light is kind of energy. It travels in straight paths until it hits an object. And now we will demonstrate this to you. Here I have three-way straight line source. I will turn on three switches. Maybe you will help me. Turn on the three switches. And the third, yes. And we see three straight lines. Alice, do you see three straight lines that prove that the light travels in straight paths in the air? I also want to give you an example. In foggy weather, you see that the light beams passing through the trees are, stri are straight. The light beams from the car headlights are straight. And the light beams from the movie projector also straight. And now let's speak a little reflection of light. Yes, now let's speak about reflection of the light. When light hits an object, many things can happen. Most objects absorb some of light that hits them, but they also reflect light. Let's demonstrate this. We will put this mirror surface in front of our light source. And we see that the light beams are reflected. Yes, do you see? I change the angle and the reflection angles, the reflection changes. Do you see? This is mirror surface. When light beams from the light source are irradiated on the plane mirror of the multifunctional reflector, we can see that three reflected beams are parallel. They are parallel. This phenomena is peculiar reflection. But if we direct the light to the irradiated surface, irradiated, what happened? We will see that reflected light is very scattered and soft. Reflected light, do you see, it's very soft here. Do you see, it's very soft. Light always finds its way around. But what happens when it, it passes between air and water? Hmm. Light moves at different speeds in different things. It's super fast in the air, a bit slower in water, and even slower in things like glass or plastic. When light goes from one of these things to another, it has to adjust its speed and then that's when it bends. You can try a fun experiment at home. Here we have a glass of water and we put a paintbrush inside. You can put here a pencil. It might look that paintbrush is bending or broken, but it is not. Guess what? The pencil is not really broken, it's just light refraction might making it look this way. Do you see? It looks like it, it is broken. But this is light refraction. But look. Beautiful. 
Yes? And now let's demonstrate the refraction of light on the lens. So let's take a convex lens. Do you see the effect? It's interesting. You can change the location, the position. Mm -hmm, yes. Now let's take a glass brick. Glass brick. Hmm. <laughs> and what about a prism? Mm. Do you see? Mm. What about concave lens? This is a concave lens. <laughs> concave lens. So this is convex lens. And this is concave lens. Mommy, can you tell more about the lenses? Certainly. In everyday life, people use uh, optical instruments such as glasses, cameras, projectors and microscopes. These optical instruments are closely related to our lives and their main components are lenses. So. For example, we have a camera, there is a lens inside it. You know people who wear glasses, there are lenses in the glasses. Why do you have different shapes? Imagine you have a magical round piece of glass that thinner on the sides and thicker in the middle. This glass is called a convex lens. Have you ever seen a magnifying glass? No. Magnifier? Yes. Yes. That's a kind of con convex lens too. When you look at it, things that are small and far away look bigger and closer. Yes? It can focus the light into one spot. It can focus the light into one spot. It has a converging effect on the light. Do you see? The light beams are focused in one spot. It's like a fish. <laughs> yes, like a fish. Eyes. Mm -hmm. Now the concave lens. This lens is thicker on the sides and thinner in the middle. It has a diverging effect on the light. If you let light go through a concave lens, it spreads out instead of focusing. It's like when you see a rainbow and the colors spread apart. We can try with other lenses if you want. They have just different thickness. And this is convex and concave mirror. Do you see? Now we can see that how light beams are reflected. Mommy, mm -hmm. can I ask a shape? What shapes? What shapes will you choose? You can try yourself. Hmm? This is a concave. This is brick lens. Hmm. This is convex. This is prism. <laughs> so, 
I hope you liked our optical experiments and you learned something new. Not to miss our next video, please subscribe because we are preparing something really cool. Stay curious and bye-bye! Bye-bye!